Introduction to World Civilizations Chapter 2 The Mesopotamian Civilization Remember, in the first chapter, we have looked at the issue of civilization in general, and now we are moving towards forward to a specific civilizations that can be considered under the world civilization issue. The first civilization that we are going to deal with is the Mesopotamian civilization. First of all, let's also get look at the learning outcomes of this chapter. After completing this chapter, you will be able to analyze the origins of the Mesopotamian civilization, explain how the religion of this civilization impacted the society in general, characterize the society of the Mesopotamian civilization as well as the culture of this civilization, and analyze how the infrastructure of the Mesopotamian civilization contributed to, to the development of civilization in general, and explain main events of the Mesopotamian civilization. Let us start then with the origins of this ancient civilization. Mesopotamian civilization is thought to be the founding civilization. It is, it was initiated by Sumerians about 5000 BCE, and uh, its geographical settlement was uh, in the Tigris Euphrates Valley. So the Mesopotamia means the land between the rivers, between the two rivers. So it can be considered as the cradle of civilization. Why? Because this civilization is associated with the invention of the wheel, which was a very important invention in the whole human history, the planting of the first cereal crops, the development of cursive script, mathematics, astronomy, and ag agriculture as well. That's why Mesopotamian civilization was thought to be the founding civilization. So when we look at this spatio-temporal boundaries of this civilization, we can see the importance of Tigris and Euphrates rivers for the development of such civilization. Because during their middle courses, these two rivers gradually approach each other as uh, forming a kind of triangle, which is called Al Jazeera. In Arabic, it means the island. And this island, so-called island, was quite habitable and productive. It has the continental subtropical climate. So geography is a major reason for the evolution of Mesopotamian civilization. Throughout this civilization, um, there were Sumerians and then the Akkadians, then the Babylonians, the Assyrians, and then lastly, the Persians all evolved in this uh, geographical area. Uh, as for the religion of the Mesopotamian civilization, according to them, the universe was controlled by certain gods and goddesses. And they need to be obeyed. They need to be worshipped with prayers and lots of offerings. So they built up some temples for, for prayer or for religious activities. Um, the temple they built is called Ziggurat. Ziggurat is an ancient um ancient kind of temple in the form of a step pyramid or a tower and they were considered as the, the dwelling place of the gods they thought the gods were living in the ziggurats and the great ziggurat of babylon was etemenanki and it had seven levels each representing seven skies seven planes of uh, existence the seven planets and the seven metals so that's why uh, those um, religious places were very important for Mesopotamian civilization um, the Sumerian society was divided into main uh, four main categories when we look at the civilizing society of the civilization um, those categories included novels uh, they were at the top of the society of course free clients of the nobility commoners and at, at the very bottom, this the slaves. And the first important set of rules or code or laws was fashioned by Hammurabi, the king of Babylon around 2000 BCE. And from 10th century BCE to the 7th century BCE, the Assyrians controlled an enormous territory of the borders, from starting from the borders of Egypt to the eastern highlands of Iran, which also contributed to the civilizing society of Mesopotamian civilization. Um, from a cultural perspective, 
ancient Sumerians developed the first form of writing, which was quite important. And pottery was at that time used as a money system. Um, and cultural footprints of the Mesopotamian civilization were everywhere and could be seen in arts and craftsmanship, music, games, family life, burials, um, philosophy, science, and technology. So in order to understand the culture of the civilization, we also need to understand those cultural footprints. Uh, how about the infrastructure, the civilizing infrastructure of the Mesopotamian civilization? Architectural accomplishments are in the development of urban planning, um, the, car, the courtyard house, and ziggurats. There were some major cities such as Ur and Uruk, and they had stone paved streets. Uh, they used wheel for transportation and invented a 60 minute hour. Uh, so, the ma basic major contributions of the Mesopotamian civilization to the world civilization is the urbanization, the wheel writing, astronomy, mathematics, wind power, irrigation, agricultural development, and animal farming. Um, so over the 2,350 years since its invasion by the Macedonian conqueror Alexander the Great, the land of Mesopotamia has been occupied by people coming from different other civilizations um, so in order to be able to understand this civilization and its fate for the coming generations we need to understand um, the, the rise of the two different civilizations in the 21st century they are global civilization and virtual civilization in global civilization society is headed by a global financial elite culture is reflected in a global language and a worldwide Western dress code. When we look at the new rising virtual civilization, we see that society is there now composed of close to 2 billion users of social networks and culture is based on connected technocentricism, netcentricism, and cyber ethic. So far in this chapter, uh, we have investigated different aspects of Mesopotamian civilization, such as the origins we looked at the origins of the civilization, the spatio-temporal boundaries of the Mesopotamian civilization, the religion and the, the civilizing society of the Mesopotamian civilization, as well as civilizing culture of the civilization. And uh, we also looked at the civilizing infrastructure of the Mesopotamian civilization. And then we discussed the further fate of Mesopotamian civilization in the light of um, new types of societies um so uh, from mesopotamian uh, civilization now we will move forward to the other civilizations that are important to understand world civilization in general so see you in the third chapter